morning everyone um i just wanted to give a quick um five ten minute chat about the penis retraction muscle um so there are two indicators with the penis retraction retraction muscle sorry i haven't got my teeth in this morning um one when the penis retraction muscle is so swollen that the penis cannot retract inside the sheath um, that is a massive alarm bell and you would need to call the vet out. We, I have had one case where a um, lady called me out and obviously the penis wasn't retracted into the sheath. He also had a massive bean. He hadn't urinated for 24 hours. Um, I cleaned him out as, as best I could, removed the bean. Um, we called the vet. The vet came on site. Um, and the vet had to give him antibiotics, anti-inflammatory steroids for uh, just seven to ten days. So there is that scenario of um, a very bad swollen uh, retraction muscle. But there is the other aspect. Um, and I, you know, I just need to put it out there because I, I'm coming across this more often than not. So when the penis is totally retracted inside the sheath, right at the top, you've got just the 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 tips of the muscle where the, the penis retracts into the internal sheath. Um, and anyone that is a professional sheath cleaner, and I'm, I'm going to state that, a professional qualified sheath cleaner, um, my personal opinion is that they would need to have a degree in anatomy and physiology. Um, I know that you can be qualified um, with a BHS level 5 Um but having done my degree many, many years ago, uh, I just think you need to know know what you're talking about. So getting to the point. Um, so a lot of the clients that I've seen now, um, just as you go in, up inside to where the internal sheath, where the penis retracts totally inside to, um, it's almost like a, a two finger hole where it will sit inside. So it's like a circular. And just at the bottom... It, it should feel flat, it should feel normal, there shouldn't be any swelling. But sometimes there is, um, and that's where my experiences come in. So if the bottom half of the muscle feels just slightly swollen, a little bit fluidy, that's an indicator that the horse is totally unhappy on the back end. Now this is normally because he's holding a lot of tension within that back area it could be the pelvis is slightly outlined it could be he has a lumbar spine issue um, and this is where I normally recommend or refer my clients to a physio um, because the tension over the whole back end you imagine if you're tense in your back you're going to tighten a lot of muscles in the lower half of your body um, and and as I said, this is where my experience comes in and I can feel that and I will absolutely 100% recommend physio um, to the extent where you may even have to get an osteopath out or a chiropractor just to check that there's nothing sinister going on in the back end. Um, sometimes I have found with a few horses with kissing spine, they have this swelling because they're holding that tension all the time. Um, I came across one of the weekend, um, client didn't feel that there was anything wrong, having seen him walking up and down the, the gangplank, there was concern for me, the gate was way way open, he was very tight in the, in the top part of the area, around the buttocks area, um, and straight away I said physio. So when we do a sheath clean, the professional sheath cleaners, if there is that type of swelling, that should be, that detail should be given directly to the client and they should be advising for a physio to come out to check the muscles to, or, or even um, a chiropractor or, or a, a physio. So whoever you have, my opinion would be to make sure and educate the, the clients that are being seen. So when you do have a sheath cleaner, my advice is to you is to say to them, everything okay up there? Is there any swelling? Um, and just put that out there. How's the penis retraction muscle? Is that nice and flat or is it slightly swollen? Um, 
if they know what they're talking about, they should come back to you and go, yeah, it's flat or, or it's slightly swollen. And they should recommend a physio for you. Um, always be careful when, when you ask that question and somebody goes, oh, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. My alarm bell will be ringing then. So please be careful. As I always say to people, I know there's loads of people doing this job. Um, and just be careful who you use. Make sure that they are insured. Make sure they know what they're doing. Make sure they have that experience. And I'm sure there's plenty out there that do. But just ask the questions. Um, I just can't stress it enough. Um, and, and I'm not out to take anyone's business or anything like that. In fact, um, I'm probably going to upset a few of my clients because in the next year or so, I probably will be retiring. But um, and that's due to ill health, I'm afraid. Um, but please ask these questions, whoever, whoever you have out, you know, make sure that they are they know the anatomy of a horse. They know what they're talking about. Fire questions. Do homework yourself. Google it. Um, you know, ask them about the pre-pulse. Is the pituitary gland fine? You know, it's just stuff like that. Just so you know you know that they're on the ball and you know that they know what they're talking about because i'm just a little concerned about who and what people are using but then again you know it, it's up to the, the the individual client but yeah so this is why I, I'm, I'm just saying out there because there is a lot i'm seeing a lot more where they're holding a lot of tension within the back end and it's coming through on that penis retraction muscle. Um, so if you have me and I tell you there's a problem, you must seek physio, chiropractor, osteopath, or even an, you know, uh, an, an emet technician. Um, you know, just, just seek anyone of them and they should be able to come out and say, yeah, it's holding a bit of tension in the back, um, do some exercises and release that. And after about six, seven months and maybe a few more sessions with your physio, all that swelling will have gone down. Because I know I've gone out to people, gone back in six months and I've gone, oh, it's lovely, you know, and they've said, yeah, the physio's come out. They've done some work on his back, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you know that it's working because that muscle is completely flat and there's no swelling there. And even when you ask them to walk the horse up and down in front of you, they look a lot more relaxed on the back end. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there about the penis retraction muscle because I have seen a lot more clients and I've had to ref a, a lot more clients with this condition and I've had to refer to physios, osteopaths or the chiropractors. So, yeah, just for I just put an update on my my page about um this particular small um significant condition that can arise but as i said there are two aspects of it there are, there is the severe which would need a vet and there is just the one where they're just holding that tension in the back end and that causes the swelling so yeah um as i said it's always always best to seek professional help um, if at all that you're concerned and you don't want a, a sheath cleaner, then by all means call a vet um, and they will come out and they will obviously confirm exactly what I'm saying anyway. Uh, but yeah, if anyone's got any questions on this, um, please message me. I'm happy to give advice. You know, I don't charge for advice um, and I'm open seven days a week, 24, 24 hours a day. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.